The new Student Information System in Palm Beach County Schools, or SIS, has great new features for teachers that allow them to access information about their students and perform their daily tasks in new and more efficient ways. Let's take a quick look around the SIS interface so you have a good understanding of where to find the information that's relevant to your job. When you initially log in to the SIS, you'll be on the home screen. And on the home screen, you'll find those common areas of navigation that exist on every screen within the SIS. First, at the top of the screen, you'll see the header. And in the header, you'll find your name, the name of your school, the current quarter or trimester, and the classes that you're assigned to teach. Whether you're a secondary teacher or an elementary teacher, these class listings will always be available for you from the header of the SIS. When you view student information, the name of the student that you're viewing will also appear in the header, along with the icons that indicate any special programs or policies that apply to this student. And remember, to return to the home screen, simply click on the SIS logo in the upper left-hand corner and you'll be back on your home screen for the SIS. The next common navigation area in the SIS is the side menu on the left-hand side of the screen. This area allows teachers to access information about their students by clicking on the backpack icon, access their grades and grade books, access attendance, access discipline, school information, your personal information, performance reports, and other reports that are available for staff. And remember, you can expand the menu by selecting on the double-headed arrow and then expand each section of the side menu by clicking on the down arrow. Finally, the main work area of the SIS is located in the center right of the screen. This is where you'll find all the action take place as you record attendance, record information in your gradebook, or look up student information. In the upper left hand corner you'll find the alert section and in this section you'll find anything that requires your action. For instance, taking attendance for classes. In the middle of that screen, on the home screen, you'll see any messages that have been posted by your administration and then finally the calendar of events in the upper right hand section will also contain information posted by your administration. You can do quick lookups on students in the middle section, find a student category, and then down at the bottom you find the featured programs that are most frequently used by teachers, attendance, and gradebook. One of the great things about the new SIS is the ability to find information about your students quickly and to customize information so that it suits the kind of work that you do. You can do this from the My Information section, where you can set preferences, for instance, on things like how you want different areas of the interface to appear, how you want student listings to show, how you want the columns of student information to show when you're viewing it, and other options that allow you to determine the workspace that works best for you. You've now seen a quick overview of the user interface that's presented for teachers in the new SIS. You've seen how to navigate the workspace, and you've learned how to customize the SIS so that it works best for you.